So have you tried pulling prints with alcohol inks on the jelly plate? Man, it was so much fun. This was my first time and it turned out better than I expected. Welcome to the studio. Thanks for joining me. Week five in 100 days of collage. You're going to love this. Right, so I'm pretty excited to be starting a new theme this week with our 100 days of collage. We're up to week five and we're on to leaves and trees and that is going to be very exciting now these are beautiful masks from pm artist studio i have a few of these gorgeous leaf masks i also have some of these ones which have an incredible textured pattern on them that's going to be fun so i thought today i'd play with some alcohol inks on the gel plate now, I am no expert of alcohol inks on the jelly plate because as you can see, my plate's not discolored because I haven't used them much. <laughs> I think I've really only used them once on the gel plate and it went really well. It was great, but you know, I don't know, man. I don't know why I didn't play with them some more. I just didn't. But today with our new theme, I'm thinking let's have a little play, see what kind of mess we can get into because really we're just creating collage paper for our fabulous series. Now, it's autumn. Let's go with some autumn tones <laughs> because I love these colors. Now I do know that um, using the alcohol inks on your gel plate will cause your gel plate to be stained. So if you don't want your, disc, your gel plate to discolor, then don't be trying this at home. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go because I really haven't tried alcohol inks very much and I want to have a little bit of an experiment. I'm just going to put some colors on through these stencils. How do you reckon this will work? I don't know, man. <laughs> Seriously, don't know how this idea is going to work. Is it even going to work? I guess we're going to both see. Now, make sure you're in a ventilated area. I can already feel the beautiful wafting smell of the alcohol. Now, what happens if I spray it with the alcohol? I don't know. What happens? Is it going to go into the lines of the mask? Do I need more on there? You know, can you just come over and tell me? If you know how to work with the um, beautiful alcohol inks, can you just like come over? Can you come to my place and play? Because I don't even know what I'm doing. But I'm going to put some more on and then I'm going to, I don't know, I guess wait for a little bit for it to perhaps seep around the mask. And then I'll pull it up and we'll see what it does. The color's really beautiful. I'm liking the colors. You know, this is the best way to learn is just to experiment and have a play. Especially if you're using a new medium that you might not have used before, don't be afraid. It can only not work. What's the worst thing can happen? It could look crap. So what? We're going to use it for collage anyway. Now I'm thinking we're not really going to want to waste all that precious alcohol ink, are we? So let's take that off there and put it on here because that'd take a really nice print. And then we're using it up. I, I think I got a bit carried away with spraying the alcohol. What do you think? Because <laughs> it's not a very clear print, <laughs> but I do like it. <laughs> so I'll let that dry and we'll pull that and then we'll play again. Now I'm starting to get a little messy. So you can, of course, use gloves, I'm thinking, if you don't like your hands getting messy. I know I'm supposed to be waiting for it to dry, but look what happens when I sprayed it with some more of the alcohol. Man, that looks awesome. I'm loving that. <laughs> now I'll wait for it to dry. That's creating such a fabulous texture. Oops, I think I might have sprayed a bit much on there. Oh, well, <laughs> it's our first print. <laughs> These look really good. And look at the mark that they're leaving from sitting on this beautiful paper, soaking up the glorious overflow of the alcohol inks. All right, shall we give it a try? I mean, really, it can only not work, right? That's what I say all the time. It can only not work. And I did already confess that I really don't know what I'm doing. So if it doesn't work, you'll already know that. 
might just roll off some of that beautiful unbleached titanium. I think that might be a little too much. I mean, we've got to try our best to pull the print off, right? <laughs> I like to do my um, roll off sheets onto good paper because I use them for collage. They end up absolutely amazing. Righto, let's give that a try and see if it works. I've got some glassine. I'm going to try and pull that up with the glassine because it grabs really well and it's a little bit stronger. Well, it's definitely stronger than the tissue. I like using tissue. I also use some Japanese calligraphy paper. That works well too, but the glassine is the toughest. So I'm thinking maybe we should give it the tough stuff. Righto, let's see if anything works. <laughs> Let's see if anything's going to pull up. Oh, I see a bit of colour. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Ah, uh, well, I don't know why you were so worried. Why did you think I couldn't get it to work? Really? That looks fine. Look at our beautiful first lot of leaf prints and some alcohol inks on the gel plate. Oh, man, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Right, feeling a bit braver now. How about we use one of these mask with that fabulous pattern beautiful swirling leaves on it yes i'm going with the autumn colors again this time i might wait for it to dry a little bit longer to create some of that pattern what do you think i think that'd be a good idea <laughs> it's just the waiting part <laughs> now look at me i'm being real brave this time <laughs> i'm gonna Splash it on, then I'm going to spray it with the alcohol. And then I'll leave it to soak under the mask before I pull it off. And then we'll pull the print. Righto, that's the plan, Stan. So at the moment I'm using Havana Brown, Tangerine, Coral and Chili. Chili Pepper, I think. It's a little messy, that one. Righto, I left it a couple of minutes so it could soak, do something. <laughs> oh man, look at that colour. That is fantastic. We're going to put the overprint onto a piece of uh, Japanese calligraphy paper because I'm pretty sure it's going to look amazing and I'm going to want that for collage paper. Look at my fabulous plate. Oh, the colours are amazing. So, yes, now I need to let that dry. Okay, we'll let that dry and then we'll pull the print. Oh, look at that. That looks a fabulous print. So I just had a thought. What about if I put some of the fabulous leaf stamp on top? It's the same pattern, but it's a foam stamp this time instead of the mask. I'm thinking that that could be fun. I mean, am I allowed to do that? <laughs> Am I allowed to put acrylic paint on top of the alcohol ink? I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> but I'm going to. Oh, man, that's just beautiful. Righto. Feeling a bit braver now. That is fabulous. Look at that. I hope this prints. <laughs> hope my paper doesn't get stuck <laughs> and rip. That would be so disappointing. Righto, I'll let the leaves dry and we'll see how that looks. And that's just so exciting. Now, I think this time I'm going to pull it with some titanium white because I want to see all those glorious colors of the alcohol inks. And I think white would really show them up nicely. And I'm going to use some um, a piece of watercolour paper. And we'll see how that prints. Oh man, I hope it works. <laughs> if it does, it's going to be beautiful. Okay, time to be brave. <laughs> Let's see how it printed. I think it might be okay. I think you're going to love it. Have a look at all of that beautiful color and texture. Oh, yes, I'm loving it. That is so fun. 
that print turned out so well. So I'm thinking with this one, I'm just going to have a little bit of experiment with the alcohol inks on the plate, uh, making a background. Alcohol blending solution. What does that do? <laughs> Not a clue. Oh, <laughs> that kind of looks cool. So I'm just going to splash some of these beautiful colors on the plate have a little play with some of these additives oh man is that what that does and let it dry and use it for a background i might put some of that um oh man look at that uh the uh leaf stamp i'm gonna put some of the leaf stamp on top after i've created an amazingly beautiful background might have to leave it to dry a little bit. But wow, look at that. Look at the brass did. That one's brass. In the blending solution, it kind of went all beautiful. I hope that pulls up. Do you think that'll pull up? On the <laughs> what happens if you spray it with the alcohol now? Oh, <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> it kind of goes crazy. I'm loving it. So now the color's blending out to the edge. That's working. I'll let that dry a bit, add some of the beautiful leaf shapes on it. And yay. So look how beautiful my background texture is. I'm not gonna add any leaf stamps to this right now because I'm just loving these colors. I think it might be all right to pull. <laughs> But seeing as I'm a total novice at this, I'm really not sure. I'm going to pull it with white and I'll see how that looks because I want to have all of these beautiful colors and textures. So let's just put it on some white with some watercolor paper and see how beautiful that will print. Righto, moment of truth. Let's see if the watercolour paper is going to pick up the print or if I basically put too much on the plate <laughs> or if I didn't wait long enough. Mm, that could be possible too. Oh, it's looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. Right. Well, the watercolour paper survived. The print looks absolutely beautiful. Look at those colors and textures. Oh man, that's just fun, that is. I'm loving that, it's so moody. <laughs> I could now put some of my beautiful leaf prints on it or I could use it for anything else. I think we're just gonna have to wait and see. Look at the layers of color, that really worked well. Yay, winning. Look at the glorious colour and texture. And what I really like about this one is the edge. I love that edge. I want to do that again. Oh, some of my acrylic paint stuck where I had stamped it, but that's not to worry. It looks like a bug's eating the leaf. <laughs> I can put some touch-ups on that. That's not a problem. We can fix that. But look at the edge. Oh, man, I'm loving that. Okay, I like that idea the best. I might have to do that again. So really, I just need to put less on the plate. I know, you've probably been telling me that. Okay, I'm listening now. I love that edge. <laughs> I'm gonna just have another play with these beautiful masks. Put less on the plate. See if I can create that fabulous edge again. That was glorious, I loved it.
Oh, I love this technique. Look at that. That is very autumn. And I've got that beautiful edge that I liked. So which ones are we going to use for the collage today? I don't know, man. There's so many beautiful prints now. <laughs> So what do you think of my first attempt at jelly printing with alcohol inks? I think it's okay. <laughs> These look fabulous. They look like a caterpillar's eaten the leaves. That's on the glass scene. That worked really well. And then I was printing with this fabulous mask. That was when I put it on the overpaint onto the paper. That was the print. Fabulous. I love it. Look at the texture and the layers on that. And then I did this other one as well. That looks beautiful. This was the print with the huge amount of alcohol inks on the plate that I took the background. And then I just put on some beautiful leaves with these fabulous foam stamps. I love these stamps. They're just so easy to use. And they're such a beautiful shape. What a great design. Now, these I'm loving just as they are. I love the look of the edge of the alcohol inks i like the texture of them this has got the fabulous copper on it and this one looks just as good too these ones are on watercolor paper and they printed really well that was really fun actually i'm loving the masks now that they're coated in alcohol inks i could, I could quite happily stick one of these masks on these beautiful prints and call it a day i know i know i'm a bit like that but what do we want to do now? I'm just going to put two of these into my art journal for my 100 days of collage collection. That looks really cool. Look at that. Oh, man, I'm loving that. <laughs> oh, but I've also got some of the um, stamping where I was stamping off the plate onto paper. That looks fabulous. I just gave it a spray with some eyes inks. I've got tons of these beautiful stamping papers. I was also doing it the other day when I was printing. And this one here is the roll off page that I was rolling my brayer off. And then I stamped some bronze with my favorite Hello Foam stamp. It's looking glorious. Look at that, beautiful. Sprayed it with Ising's honey and then a little bit of gold mine. Yes, fabulous. And then there's some more. So I'm going to choose a couple of these prints put together a little collage in my art journal and yay the beginning of leaves and trees week of our 100 days of collage and i think they turned out really well so i'm just loving these beautiful autumn colors they are some of my favorites i'm going to put this piece on this page because it takes up the whole page but then i'm going to tear around this and put it on so I think I'll tear around this first, see how much space that needs. And then I might cut that bit out because I don't want to lose all that beautiful paper. Look at the glorious colors and textures on that. But I'll put it so you see around the edge of this one. And I think that'll be beautiful. Just love that print. It's just so interesting and so different. And the texture's really nice. On this side, I might play with putting this on the page, my over stamping page, and then I think I'll put some of these glorious leaves on there. And I think that could work really well. Now, I absolutely love this print, but I don't think my first initial idea is going to work. I love the background print as well, but I think they're fighting each other for dominance. So I'm thinking that, oh, look how beautiful that is. Bye bye. Another day we might need to put this on a more plainer background to give it the uh, attention that it requires. So I'm thinking a little bit of coffee, little bit of Isinks coffee spray. Let's put some of that on the page and just stain the page a bit and then put the print on because I don't think it needs such a textured and busy background. I think that's going to distract from the beautiful print. And look how simple this is. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I love it. This print was so fascinating because I was watching the alcohol ink on the plate and then I stamped it with the foam stamps as it was drying and it left the beautiful textured marks of the leaves. 
That was pretty fun. You, you know, you've just got to try these things. Just try it. It can only not work. What's the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed experimenting and I'm definitely going to be playing with the alcohol inks again and seeing what else we can come up with because that looks just beautiful. Yay! Loving that. Simple stained background page and my glorious print. Okay, what's the other side going to be? Now, I do like the idea of putting this page down and then adding some of these. So let's head in that direction and see how far we get. Right, so the beautiful golden paper is down and I'm thinking maybe, baby, I might cut these shapes out and see if that idea is going to work. Right, so that's these two I've cut out. Now, I'm thinking the page can actually only handle the two because otherwise we cover up too many of our other beautiful leaf patterns underneath. So what do you think? I'm thinking these two beautiful prints here and I could put them on like that. And oh man, that's, <laughs> I reckon that's all we need. That'll trim off there on the edge. That's on the edge there. That's looking gorgeous. Yes, yes. That's all I can say about that is yes. Look at our beautiful caterpillar eaten leaves that side and that you know we could just add one little thing there just one i did some stamping of the glorious foam stamps onto white tissue just plain old white tissue just like i do when i do the round circles because i like the way the tissue goes transparent and i think it'd look really beautiful how about i put a little beautiful bronze golden fine shaped leaf on tissue which will dissolve very nicely onto this one here what do you think that could be fun i could put it in there just like that <laughs> yes i do love the idea i'm gonna do it right so what do you think about the beautiful leaves. Oh man, I'm loving it. That was really fun. And look at the texture of it. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. They look beautiful on the page. They were fun to create. And now the leaves and trees theme will be for the next week or so. At the moment, I'm creating seven collages in the same theme because you're supposed to be doing one a day. Well, you know. I don't know about one a day, but, <laughs> but I'm doing seven of each theme and we're up to week five. And this is really a lot of fun. You can jump on and join me. You can show me what you're creating in the Facebook group. It really is beautiful. We're pretty much going to be doing this for the next few months. So you can jump in any time and join us. That looks beautiful. I'm loving that. And my paper, that was a stamp off sheet looks glorious behind it in the honey of the Isinks. This looks beautiful. That's going to dry clear. I'll show you once it dries clear. I'm really loving that. And you know, it's going to be fun using these leaf shapes for the next few weeks instead of round circles. I know, right? Um, I think my paper pages look fabulous. I'm very happy with them. The colors are glorious. And now I've got a whole heap of prints left over that I'll be using again for the next few pages and who knows what we're going to be creating. Thanks for joining me today in the studio. I hope you were inspired. I hope you learned something and I hope you're going to come back for the next video. Now, don't forget, if you want more information on the art supplies, where I get the stencils or the papers and discount codes, you'll find all the information in the description under the video. And I also have a playlist for you where you can find any episodes that you might have missed.